So we're going to leave the core and the pips in because that's where the life force is, that's where the energy is and it's filled with B17. Apples are also really good for cough problems and for your chest, so again, great at this time of year. Now we're going to put all our cut up apples into the pan and we're going to gently simmer them with some water. So let's get all these lovely apples in here. Oh. We're going to use some cinnamon and some cloves. I'm putting two sticks of cinnamon in and I've put five cloves in. I'm going to grate a little bit of nutmeg in here. Oh, if I can not drop it. There we go. Now I've got my filtered water and we're just going to cover them with water and put that on to simmer. Now whilst that's simmering, we're going to get busy and we're going to make the topping for it. So, what we're going to do first for this topping is I've got some spelt flour because that's great. It's also good if you've got wheat problems. Spelt, it doesn't affect you so badly. So we've got two cups of spelt flour, which I'm going to mix in there. And then I've got two cups of oats. So we're going to mix that in as well. And then I've got some flax. All of these are really good for your digestion. It keeps your di digestive systems flowing. So we want that. So we're going to put that in. That's a cup of flax. I've got some molasses here. Molasses is actually also really good for your digestive system. It helps to keep it all moving. So all of these things that we're putting in help keep your system clear and flowing. And what that does is it helps your immune system be the most effective it can be. So that's half a cup. Lovely raisins. It's a cup of raisins. And I've got some sunflower seeds full of vitamin E and magnesium. So we're going to put those in there as well. Now, I've got here some dates which I've been soaking in some water. So what this will do is it will help to bind it all, but it will also give it some more sweetness. So we're going to add this into here. And that's a cup. Now we want some oil. So we're going to add a cup of oil into that. And now we're going to start mixing. Just added another half a cup of water and it's all binding together really well. Oh, that's looking delicious. Look at that. That's going to be such a nice topping. So we finished doing the crumbled topping. The apples have simmered now for 10 minutes and they're ready. So we're going to strain off the excess liquid and we're going to take those cinnamon sticks out because we wouldn't really want to eat those. Now the way I've made this crumble, you can do it any way you want with whatever you've got in the cupboards. I try not to use refined sugar where possible, but if you want to go and get some brown sugar you can, or you can use coconut nectar, that's a brilliant source of sweetening that doesn't raise your GI. So you can add, you don't have to add dates either, you can add whatever you want. Some nuts in there are lovely as well. So it's up to you how you do that. So we're going to strain the excess liquid off of these apples now. And I'm going to take the cinnamon sticks out. So a knife to get that last one out. Now I like it when the apples are still apples, so we've still got them nice and chunky like that, but they're nice and soft. Now these are a mixture of dessert apples and cooking apples, so I haven't added sugar to this, but you can add sweetener if you want. So we're going to now pour this into our pan another bit of cinnamon and we're just going to spread it out so that there's an even base of apples like so. Now we're going to put our crumble mix on top and spread it out. So we've now covered over our apple crumble with the crumble mix and doesn't it look yummy? We're going to put that in the oven now for half an hour at 180 degrees can't wait to eat it. Oh, that looks delicious and it smells divine. I can't wait to have a plate of this. 
So this is just one of the many ways that you can eat apples. We're in a project to plant as many apple trees and nut trees and other fruit trees in our area. So look around your area and see where you can plant more fruit and nut trees. Anyway, we'll be featuring more about that on another Juliet's Kitchen. Thanks for coming and see you soon. Take care.